Broadway knows its favorite whoopee spot. The Tony-winning revival of Chicago is celebrating its 7,000th performance on The Great White Way. We're here at the Ambassador Theater to talk with stars past and present about this classic Candor and M musical and all that jazz. Seven thousand performances. Did you ever think you guys would be here today? Oh my God, I didn't think. I mean, when it got to ten years, I was like, wow. And then we got to fifteen, and I'm like, ooh, seven thousand. I think I've done about five thousand four hundred and fifty-two. I don't think it's a surprise now. You know, when we look at the show and we think, wow, it's got everything, everything that all the ingredients to to make a, a fantastic production. This is the run that it should have. It's spectacular material and every single cast that comes in is great and the crew was fantastic and the audiences just keep coming back more and more and more and more and over and over and over again <laughs> some of them. It's the biggest blessing of my life and all of us, is, there's a lot to celebrate and I hope there's 7,000 more, we'll see. What is the best part about being part of this show right now during this incredible milestone? Uh, the cast is pretty great. It's pretty fun to do. You know, you feel kind of lucky and fortunate and grateful that you're in not just a show, but a show like this that's got such a great cast who's been here and they've worked. They've worked for this. They deserve this. I feel honored. Honored that I'm still here. Yeah, I've been here for some time now. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> We're breaking records and, and it's proving how wonderful this show is and that it's lasting. It's, you got to shoot it with a silver bullet. This is the show, baby. Once you get Fosse just into your body like that, is it ever? are you ever able to just let it go or do you find yourself in your everyday life just busting out your favorite? Fosse moves. <laughs> I think I kind of naturally move that way. Sometimes I do find myself in ballet class, you know, standing in the back and doing this to the music when everyone else is doing this, like this, and I'm just listening and grooving. What is it about the show that keeps audiences coming back again and again and again? Well, you got Cantor and Ebb, you got Fosse, you got Walter Bobby, you got Amron King. Is there anything else? Is there anything else? You've got the best asses on Broadway, the most beautiful girls and the most beautiful boys. Just the music and the stage and the, the fact that it's a minimalist show because the talent of the actors is what's really bare on stage. What is it about the show for you still that gets you to just want to shimmy and shake until your garters break? <laughs> the music. The music is spectacular. It, it, it makes you want to dance. Well, when we get to the end, Velma and Roxy doing a honey rag. Always, it's always so exciting. Razzle Dazzle, I think I stood in the wings for the first six months of doing this show, watching Razzle Dazzle. I guess it would be my fabulous entrance, right? Coming out of, uh, coming out of the, the, the box like that with the airplane headlights <laughs> behind me. There's nothing like that. I have to say the opening number is still pretty great. It gets you going. Why is right now the best time to come see Chicago on Broadway? Because it's hot. It's still hot. It's, it's a wonderful show. It's it, People come in and they can just get entertained and just have a good time and they can see some of the prettiest people on Broadway.